Hello, my name is Eric Knudsen. I work for a company called Copenhagen Atomics, a company that's aimed at building nuclear power reactors using molten salt technology. Today, I will be showing you how to simulate the Zero Power Reactor Experiment, or ZPRE for short, using open source tools only for meshing and neutronics. So the tools that we will be using is OpenMC and its bridges to DAGMC. We'll be using Python and Git. I've shown some uh, links here that you can follow if you want to. The real tool that we'll be showcasing today is CAD to OpenMC, which is a Python package which helps to build, go directly from CAD created geometries to polygonal geometries that can be used directly in neutron transport. So why do that? Well, it's because most neutron transport codes use a, com a concept called CSG or constructive solid geometry to create their geometries. Well, that's very convenient and fast for computations, but it can be very, very cumbersome to create geometries within that. CAD tools, on the other hand, are aim uh, optimized exactly for making constructing geometries easy. So this is a way of bridging these two worlds. So the steps that we will take, be taking today is to first activate a Python virtual environment with OpenMC installed in it. We will install CAD to OpenMC. We will clone the ZPRE repository and check out the open branch. This will get you a detailed CAD model of the ZPRE reactor in the form of a step file. And then we will run some simulations and create plots to show you uh, some of the things that you can do with these geometries. So without further ado, let's go to it. So I'm now moved to a terminal and also moved myself up in the top right corner instead of the bottom left to avoid being in the way of the console output on the terminal. So I'm in my run directory where I want to be. Here I have created a Python virtual environment into which I've installed OpenMC with its DAGM DAGMC bindings. So now I simply need to activate that. I do that by um, sourcing the activate script. This shows up in the prompt now. So I've activated this. Now I need to install the tool CAD to OpenMC. This I do simply by pip install and then dash dash pre for pre-release of CAD to OpenMC. Now the pre-release is because we need some, some of the more bleeding edge behind the scenes scripts and, and tools that uh, CAD to OpenMC uses. So let's install that. Now, as we can see here, it's using cached versions of the, of the Python packages. That's normal. It just means that I've done this before, so there's no need to download these packages yet again. Okay, this seems to have turned out well. So let's just go into a Python interpreter and import cat to OpenMC to make sure that everything is all right. That seems to work fine. So I quit out from the a Python interpreter. And so now I need to clone the ZPRE repository. I do that by git clone. And then I go to www.github.com open MSR ZPRE. This is where the ZPRE detailed model is, along with a few helper scripts. So I clone this. The step file is reasonably large, so it takes a little bit of time to download this, but it's not too bad. So it's now almost done. We can see that it's there. So let's move in to this directory here and see what's there. Now, we need to check out the open branch of this for open source. So let's just do that. Let's see what's there. 
Now, there's a script called run.sh here. This is the one that we will be running. It, it simply is a bash script that helps you run a few simulations. Everything else um, is in the subdirectory called scripts. Let's just look, see what's there. And those are a bunch of scripts that you can use, look at. Um, these are just normal OpenMC scripts how, uh, that help you run um, various forms of simulations. So I'll just run the run script. Now, here you're presented with a bunch of choices. To begin with, I'm going to run the geometry plot option that creates uh, slice plots of the geometry that we are dealing with to make sure that everything turned out all right in the meshing and so on. So I choose two for geometry plot. Now this triggers a creation of, uh, of the meshes um, of, from the step files. So we can do mesh curves, surfaces, and so on. And here there is a, a particularly complicated surface number 1149. I should stress that this is a memory hungry operation. In this case I'm running on a server which has 64 gigabytes of memory and indeed 56 cores that I can use for meshing. So now we start assembling uh, STL geometries which later on will be assembled into one big H5M file that OpenMC can use for neutron transport. I'll be skipping forward in the video So now we see that OpenMC has created a, a set of plots which we can look at. So I'll just control C my way out from the run script and then use image magic to take a little bit of a look at these plots. First I'll look at the XY slice through the middle of the reactor. And here you see something very symmetric and not all that interesting. You can see bits and pieces here. The purple one bits are the beryllium reflector areas and the dark gray area is where the fuel salt happens to be. Now if we look, take a look at the XZ plane on the other hand we see a vertical cut through the reactor and here colors are slightly different they're simply cho chosen randomly but we can identify the light green areas as being beryllium reflectors and the light gray areas where the fuel salt is. Please also take a note at the um, orange um, bars here, which are actually tubes which contain gold foil and so on for, for capture measurements to, to measure the actual flux in, flux in the reactor, as was done during the 60s, during the experiment. Now, that looks all fine, so let's do neutron transport using this. I'll run the run script again. And what I'll do is I'll now choose option number four, namely neutron flux. And you see OpenMC start starting again. And we assemble all the necessary materials from neutron cross-section data that I have, I have on my machine. And we can see that we do a what's called a k eigenvalue or k effective run to figure out what the effective criticality value is of this reactor and we can see that it uh, hovers somewhere around 0.9 which is pretty okay considering that the um, control rod uh, was fully inserted in my geometry so Let's quit out of the run script again and we can take a look at what has been created here. We can now see the neutron flux.png for instance. So let's just use image magic to take a look at that. Uh, 
And here you can see it's actually anisotropic or uh, asymmetric uh, in the xy plane. This is simply a slice through the middle of a reactor just as before for the, uh, for the geometry where there, is a, there seems to be a mis, uh, an asymmetry which needs to be f looked into f further looked into. I, this is probably be caused by, uh, it might be caused by the um, capture measurement um, things, but it should be definitely be examined more closely. And so, from here on, you can edit the run scripts uh, or the computational scripts as much as you want to. It's all there, it's all open source, and you can edit it to your heart's content. And that, that concludes what I had to show you today. Please note that there will be coming other similar videos like this showing you how to run the ARE, the Aircraft Reactor Experiment, which was also conducted in, at Oak Ridge in the 60s, and also the Molten Salt Reactor Experiment, or MSRE, which is an even more complicated um, reactor design. This we will also show you how to do in a future video. And another video will show you how to go from here, from what we've got here, to the pretty picture that I showed on the slide where I had overlaid um, both geometry and volumetric uh, rendering and also neutron flux. So, bye-bye.